Hey guys, welcome to your hot girl bummer booty workout. We will be using a medium resistance band and I want to start this class off by saying I know there are a lot of pressures especially around summertime to look and feel good, really more look good. So I want this class to be about feeling good. So right now we are going to collectively set an intention about moving with a positive self image. We're not doing this workout to punish ourselves. We're doing this to feel good so that these workouts support our mental health along with our physical health. Cause I truly believe that moving your body is transformative, not just physically, but also mentally. So mine is going to be that I do not need to earn my food. I think that's a really good lesson. My friend who's a best friend who's a dietitian has taught me that it's not a healthy mindset to think, oh, I need to work out in order to eat. We need to eat to live. So that's my intention. If you would like to share your intention in the comments, please feel free or keep it for yourself. So today this class is all about the booty, uh, the back of the legs, everything legs. Uh, so I'll be working with a fabric resistance band. I'm going medium because the fabric is a lot heavier than the rubber. So if you only have rubber, I would use the heavy or extra heavy. If you have the fabric, this is like tons of reps of just legs. So you could try the heavy, but have the medium on hand because you might burn it out. <laughs> so let's get into it guys. So let's jump into the workout, our hot girl bummer summer. <laughs> our booty workout. So just slide that resistance band above your knees on your thighs. We're moving with good vibes today and we're starting standing. So hop it on up. Okay. So let's take the legs wide enough that you already feel tension in the band and then slightly angle the feet out, but do not overly externally rotate. So it's just a small turn out of the feet. Now what's really important about this squat is the foot should not roll out. The inside of the foot stays down and that gives us more resistance for our hips as we press the thighs out into the band. So just think about that as we move through this. So here we go. We're into our squats. So we're going to take an inhale, send those hips down and back. I want you to press your thighs apart at the bottom, but make sure the inside of the foot has not lifted and then squeeze up through your glutes as we come to standing. Okay. So we're going to inhale, move your hips back in space as if I'm trying to sit on this couch. I'm reaching way far back so that the knees don't go forward over the toes. I'm going to press the knees apart at the bottom and then squeeze up through those glutes and come back up to standing. Good. So this is a Pilates style leg workout. So we are going to move slow and controlled. There's no ballistic movement. Everything will be low impact. So it's less intense on the joints, but that does not mean it is going to be easy. It's actually going to be quite difficult and a very like burny sensation in the muscles because we're moving with this slow controlled motion, which has this effect on the muscles. We get a lot of lactic acid buildup. When you feel that burning sensation, that's what it is. So we're inhale, sitting those hips back, exhale, squeezing up through those glutes. So when we apply pressure with the foot, you want to feel the ball of the big toe, the outer edge of the foot and the heel all anchoring down. And what this creates is like a, like a, like a suction cup action in the feet. So the muscle in the feet are really active when we do stuff like squats and lunges. And that's why I really think working out barefoot sometimes is really helpful. When we have a tennis shoe on, we can't see if we're rolling in or out. And sometimes it's hard to apply pressure in certain parts of the foot when we've got that shoe that kind of keeps the foot in one position. So just like the whole foot works as in one piece. Uh, but there are so many muscles in the feet and I feel like that doesn't allow all of the muscles to fire, which allows us to get stronger and work a little bit harder. I'm going to show you this guy from the side. Okay. So the slight turn out of the feet, the knees drive open and we move back through the hips. Yeah. The knees might go a little forward and that's okay. Then I'm holding at the bottom and I'm pushing the band out, making sure the pressure of the big toe joint is down and then I'm squeezing up through those glutes. So another thing to look at when we do squats is if you're very flexible slash like to hyperextend in the legs, make sure when you stand up, it's from squeezing your butt, not from pushing your knees back like that. So if you're a hyperextender, when you stand up, do not fully stand up. Stop about two inches before straight. Keep a knee bend. And honestly, 
if you're truly a hyperextender, it's probably where you should stop. It's probably straight, but to you feels bent. I have a little bit of that, so I know about that. Okay, we're adding on. So we move the hips back into the squat. The right leg is going to lift up, pulling out to the right, we're gonna hold the leg lift. Squeeze your outer hip and grow taller through your spine. Now give me two pulses in this right leg. Lift, lift, and take it down, same side. We squat, good, and so we're just adding on, so make sure you still have that grounding of the inner feet and the thighs pressing open. Leg lift, now we've got some balance challenge. When you pulse the leg, try to keep your torso still, not leaning away from the leg. If that is impossible for you, grab a chair. Doing this hold, right leg hold lift, is going to fire that outer hip a lot more than if we move quick. Now pulse twice, pulse, pulse. The heart rate will get up in this class, but not because we're moving fast, because we're asking the body to do a lot at once. Leg lift, hug this standing hip in, and then give me those two pulses. Lift, lift. Now let's really go for it. Let's really lift that leg up. Good, so find the hold first. We pause. Pull the band apart as much as you can. Lift higher, lift higher, squeeze, and take it down. Sorry, feel the hip. Inhale, we reach it back. Exhale, we stand it up, and we've got that leg hold. Try to stay into that right leg. Lift, lift. Now the more advanced you are, the slower you should be going, the longer you should be holding. And if that seems strange to you, give it a try and let me know how your butt feels tomorrow. <laughs> Just trust me, it'll do the job. <laughs> Breathe in, take it back. Drive up, squeeze the glutes, leg lift, freeze. Try to find the core work, pulse, pulse. Nice job. We've got three more on this leg. Good, leg lift, stand taller through your core and spine, and then pulse it up twice. Lift, lift higher. Squat it down and back, big breath in. Stand it up, slightly turn the right leg in, lift into the band, freeze, two pulses. Lift, lift, take it down, last one here. We squat to stand, lift, hold, we go higher, higher, and take it down, other side. Squat it back. Okay, we're shifting our body weight to that right leg this time, the left leg lifts, and it holds. I'm lifting up through the crown of my head, and then I'm gonna lift this leg twice. Lift, lift, we take it down. Slightly turn the feet out, hips go back and down. We stand up, slightly turn this left leg in, find the tension and pause. Try to stay into the left leg, and then we lift, lift. Inhale down and back. Exhale, squeeze it up. Now the other reason I had said with you have the fabric band, something that's not too heavy, is because I also want that range of motion. So if you feel too restricted in these movements and you can't get the leg up, then it would be better if you used a little bit lighter of a band. Heavier, more weight doesn't always mean better. Okay, breathe in, take it down. Breathe out, squeeze up through those glutes. Are we starting to break a little sweat? Good work, guys. Okay, we've got four more on this leg. Hips are feeling heated up. Squeeze, squeeze. Squat it back. Use your core muscles, pull them up. Lift out of your hip. Lift and hold the left leg, freeze, get that activation, and then pulse, pulse. Good, squat it down, big breath in. Stand it up. Lift that left leg and hold. See if you can lift taller out of the right hip. Go up, go up in the spine, and then two pulses. Lift, lift, woo, last one. Squat it back, squeeze it up. Best one yet, hold the lift. Legs are pulling apart, and then two pulses higher, 
higher and take it down. Okay, let's take it all the way to the left. We've got a crab walk with a little variation. So send your hips like halfway down. You don't have to be crazy low. We're working a lot of tension in the band. We're gonna do two steps with the right leg. So you're gonna go halfway out, all the way out. So the leg is fully extended. Plant the foot. Then step the left leg to it. So we go halfway, all the way, full extension of the right knee. Plant the foot, step together. One more this direction. Halfway, all the way, step it in. If you don't have a lot of space, feel free to just do one and one. Okay, to the left, halfway, all the way, fully anchor the outer edge of the foot, bring it in, but don't step too close. Keep tension in that band. We go halfway. We go all the way, straighten the knee, and then step together. Halfway, full extension, plant the foot, step it in. Okay, I want you to drop two inches lower. We go halfway, all the way, keep your head low, step it in. Halfway, all the way, step it in. One more. Halfway, all the way, step it in. Other side. We go half, full, plant the foot so that outer thigh is working, and step it in. Half, full, plant, step. One more. Half. We're dropping two more inches down. We're at our lowest point. I want you to watch what happens in this left knee when we take the step to the right. Make sure it doesn't pull in. Left knee pushes against the tension. We go halfway, all the way. That left knee should be driving apart. Then we step it in. Okay, halfway, all the way. Plant the foot, open that knee. Step it in, one more, get low. Halfway, all the way, knees apart. Step it in, drop it down, take it to the other side. Watch this right knee. Halfway, all the way, freeze. Push that right knee open, and then step together. Don't let that right knee come in. Halfway, all the way, thighs apart. Step together, this is it, sit low. Halfway, all the way, knees apart. Step together, and stand it up, woo! So that was a standing warm up. We're gonna take it to the floor now. Okay guys, so bringing it down to the mat, we're taking this into an all fours position and we're gonna work the left leg first. So meet me on all fours. The band is still above the knees on the thighs. Really open the palms up. Yeah, so the arms do work in these all fours positions. Same with the core. We'll be taking a really interesting leg circle. Bring the left heel close to your tush. Lift your navel and go back into a donkey kick. So, so go straight up to the ceiling. Low back hasn't moved. Give me two pulses. Lift, lift. Now keeping the leg high, turn it out to a hydrant. We have not dropped the leg. Shift more weight to that left palm. Give me two lifts. Lift, lift, and then we complete the circle down through center. We go back and up, hold. Give me two pulses. Lift, lift, keep it high. Externally rotate to the left. Two pulses, lift, lift, take it down. Back and up, make sure we're parallel here. Two pulses, squeeze the glute, squeeze the glute, keep it high, turn it out, two pulses, lift, lift, you got it. I want you to exhale and inhale naturally. There's a lot of time at the top, so that leg is really fired up here. Okay, when we send the leg straight back in the donkey kick, you should feel the back of the leg working right here. Squeeze, squeeze. When we turn it out, you should feel the side of the hip working. Lift, lift, nice job. Back and up, pulse, pulse. Turn it out, lift, lift. Now what I want you to feel is that the bent shape of the leg doesn't change. So keep your heel, the same distance between your butt and your heel the entire time. That should not change. Up and back, lift, lift, out to the side, up, up, you got it. Take it back, 
lift, lift, turn it out, pulse, pulse. We will reverse. So at the bottom, we take it open to the left, two leg lifts, lift, lift, keep it high, circle it up through center, stay up there, two pulses, lift, lift, take it down, turn it right, I mean left, <laughs> two lifts, bring it up through center, squeeze your glute, squeeze your glute. So the lift is a contraction of your muscles that, you know, your muscles are going to perform if you're not mentally connected to it, but if you're able to isometrically squeeze a little bit more, you will definitely fire them harder and get stronger. Squeeze, squeeze. Are you feeling your butt? <laughs> Me too. How is this harder than the squat? I do not know. Up, up, circle it around. Lift, lift. Making sure that our upper body is completely still. It is resisting the movement of this left leg. Nicely done. Soften where you can. Up, up. I want you to work hard, but not so hard that it's causing you tension in your body. Last one, let's go. Lift it up, keep it high. Lift it higher, higher. Circle it around. Lift it higher and higher. Okay guys, we're into the other leg. Same exact thing. So we're in an all fours position. We're going to take that right heel really close to our low back. Shoulders slide off the neck. Send that right leg straight up behind you and pause. Lift up twice, squeeze, squeeze, stay up there. Big turn out of the whole legs. The inner thigh faces the floor. The knee lines up with the outer hip, two pulses. Lift, lift, and then slowly take it down. Exhale takes you back. Go up twice with your thigh, into the band, into the band. Then turn the whole leg out without leaning to your left. Two pulses, lift, lift. Okay, we've got it. We know the move, we did on the other side. Squeeze, squeeze. So now I just want you to go inwards and focus on your form. So you don't have to keep watching me if you understand what the movement is. You can look down to the ground and hold on to a nice strong upper body and squeeze and think into the muscles that are firing. Up through center, lift, lift, turn it out, press, press, nice job. Exhale, we take it back, lift, lift, Inhale, open it up, lift, lift. One more in this direction. Back and up, squeeze the booty. Back of the leg pulses. Turn it out, outer hip lifts and lifts. Okay, float it down, we reverse it. Turn it out into your hydrant without opening your chest to the right. Now pulse the right thigh up twice. Up, up, keep it lifted. Bring it through center, get that leg up right here. Then lift, lift, you got it. We are toning the tush. Open it right, up, up, circle through center, lift, lift. Good, and then see what you can do about your neck. Make sure we're not scrunching the shoulders up onto the ears, and that there's a nice amount of space there. See how slow you can do these pulses. Stay in that working zone. Up, up. And say that to yourself in your head when you pulse. Tell yourself, lift, lift, it will help. Okay, we have three more on this leg. We're here for three. Keep it high, circle it around, and lift. We're here for two. Nice job guys, let's finish it up. One more, open really high, pull that band apart. Pulse, pulse, circle through center, lift, lift, and dig it down. 
Okay guys, we're coming into a glute bridge variation. So I'm gonna show you this face on for a second. You'll be down on your back, the right foot will be planted, and your left toes will go pointed like this. This will be the action of the leg. Knee in, knee out. Knee in, knee out. We're gonna do clamshell bridges. Okay, so here we go. Lay on your back. Right foot is pla planted, parallel hips distance. Come up into a bridge. Right leg is stabilizing. So do not let your right knee cave in as we move. Booty's tight, back is flat. Point your left toes, press your arms down. Now you're gonna turn that left knee open into your clam and bring it in. Open it and bring it in. When you open that left knee, the hips and the right knee should not move. If you need more tension, walk the right foot further to the right to adjust. And you can even take the left foot further right as well. Okay, push and squeeze your tush. Now both legs are working here. So right leg is in an isometric bridge and your left leg is clamshelling. I'm just rolling on my toes. Squeeze. Good, and you have a good view of your hips, so you can make sure that they are level. Okay, you can even put your hand on that left glute. Hot girl bummer. <laughs> okay, so focusing on the squeeze, maybe even close your eyes here. Both glutes should be gripped. Squeeze it out. Nice job, guys. There should not be any tension in the neck. If there is, then your back is too high. So bring it down a little bit. Just make sure you aren't causing any tension there. Squeeze, release. Nice job. Let's go for 10, nine, eight, seven. I'm like holding my butt. I kind of forgot that we were videoing this. Six, I got in the zone. <laughs> Five, we're not gonna go down, so stay lifted. Four, three, we're gonna hold it wide in two. So that left knee goes wide, it stays wide, the right and that thigh pushes out into the band. I want you to just give me little pulses of this left leg. Now squeeze your outer hip. You're opening the band more and more, you're not releasing now. Squeeze, press, squeeze, press. Let's pick it up, 20, push it out. Up and up. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, stay lifted. Plant the left foot, parallel hips distance. Point the right toes, drive up through the left hip and we're in our clamshells on the other side. Okay, now you can adjust the feet so the left foot's a little wider if you want a little bit more tension. Push out with that right thigh and the left thigh. Good, really pull the band open and squeeze the hip. Okay, and both legs are working again. We've got that isometric squeeze here. You have a good view of your pelvis, so they should, the hip bone should make one line across the stomach. Okay, it shouldn't look like that or like that. Belly button straight up to the ceiling and apply active pressure with your left foot. So I could be here, but that's not gonna give me the hot girl bum. <laughs> you gotta push up, be working. I know we're holding it, but it's an active hold. And your whole left foot is down. So just like we practiced in the squats, just because you push your thighs open does not mean the feet do that. The feet resist it and that's going to make it harder. If your feet are rolling around here, specifically the left foot, the right foot is moving, then it's going to release some of the tension. Good, couple more and we're gonna move into those pulses. Good, drive those hips up. Breathe out, breathe in. Good, give me four, three, we're gonna stay wide, keep the knee open, and then press it out and out. Do not let your left leg move. Make it small and quick, 30, 20, 
Open it up. Let's go. We got 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it in. Set the hips down. Now we'll continue with a bridge doing both legs and a reverse tabletop. So your hands can be pointed any direction behind you. See what's comfortable for your shoulders. What's most important is that you open your chest up. Heels are planted wide. Let your knees knock in at the bottom. Open your knees up and drive your hips to the ceiling. Try to pull your heels toward your butt. Let your knees come together, releasing the tension. And then big lift, drive your hips up. Push your knees out. Inhale down, I'm not sitting. I'm lifting at the top and I'm holding. Traction those heels back toward your body and we lower down. How are we doing with that intention we said at the beginning of the class? Are we feeling good? Okay, so just check in with your mindset as well. I read something recently that I really liked. It talked about not only being happy when once we've completed the task, whatever that is, but also enjoying, it's important to enjoy or how you feel during the task. That resonated with me. I mean, like think about when we have to do like laundry and dishes, which we're gonna all have to do like forever. And sometimes we're like annoyed while we're doing them or we're tired and it's like, what's the point? You know, we only feel like accomplished once we've done it, but like we should be happy that we have the ability to do laundry that we have food, that's why we have dishes, you know? I mean, I'm not perfect and that gets lost a lot, but I thought that was such a good point. Or like a work task. You know, sometimes we dread it too much. We make it worse, right? What's that saying? Something about like, uh, if you worry, you live like the same thing twice if it ends up happening. Um, and it may never happen. I know I didn't like totally execute that saying, but I think you know what I mean. It's a good point. And uh, that goes with my shirt, right? Because <laughs> I'm super type A. So I am one of these people. This is definitely the work that I need to be doing. Okay, we're holding this one up. Knees and thighs are wide, glutes are squeezed. You're gonna push your knees open and open. Strong arms, butt is tight. Grip your glutes. It's way easier if you just lift your hips. You gotta squeeze your butt. Drive the knees out and let the toes turn like a fan. Squeeze, lift your hips. Don't let them drop. Okay, you're driving your heels down to keep your pelvis up. Push it open and open. Nice job, let's keep it really wide. In 10, nine, we're gonna pulse in eight, seven, six, five, four, Three, drive it open, keep the knees open, pulse your hips. When you pulse your hips, if this makes sense, pull your heels toward your body. They will not move, it is an energetic action. Do not push them away from you. Let's pick it up, let's make it fast. 20, squeeze your glutes, knees open. Lift and lift, we got 10, nine, I'm shaking, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo, that did the job. Okay, so slide the band so it's around the shins. We're gonna go internally rotated, which is like a turning in action. It's a little awkward, I guess. So lay down, legs up, flex, point, relax the feet, whatever's fine with me. Turn your thighs in. This is most obvious from the foot. It's very easy to see your toes turn in. But that is not the only thing that's turning in. It is the top of the thighs. So make sure you're also getting that rolling in action there. We're gonna pull the band apart as hard as we can. Hold, two pulses, out, out. Legs come back together and turn the legs in more. So reinforce that every time. Open the band. Pull out, out. Bring it back in, internally rotate more. Pull it open, hold. Press out and out. If you're feeling this in your low back, tighten your core more. <sighs> legs come together. Roll the inner thighs past the legs. Pull apart and hold. Keep those knees straight if you can. Got a little flexibility. Squeeze out, squeeze out. Two more like this. Pull the band apart and hold. Pulse it out twice. 
out, out. Last one, you're holding it out. Toes, knees, thighs in and push the band open and open. Really little and let's pick it up. We got 30. It should shake, it should burn. That's five. That's 10. Open it more and pulse from there. Keep it wide. Here we go, we got 10, nine, eight, seven, straighten those knees, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh my gosh, seems easy when you're laying down, but man, does it burn. So slide the band up above the knees on the thighs, we're bringing it back up to standing. So we've got a lunge to a leg lift that I will progress eventually into a dead lift, but you stay with your own level. So let's start, start with the left foot forward, right toes are tucked behind you. There is some tension in that band and put your hands at your low back. What I want you to do with your hands, point your fingers down and push the skin of your low back to the floor. Okay, we're gonna do that the whole time. So kind of just press the skin down. So this is elongating the low back, so we're gonna lunge. If you're advanced, you gotta tap that back knee to the ground. If not, don't worry about it. Shift forward, we're gonna pause. Everything in the legs are parallel and the hands are helping us here find that tuck of the pelvis. We're gonna circle the right leg around once and then reverse the circle around twice. Big step back, we lunge. Shift forward onto the front leg, find the balance. Tilting for just a hair, circle the leg each direction one time, and then big step back into the lunge. Driving off the front foot, find the balance. We leg circle clockwise, counterclockwise, and then big lunge step back. If you're not able to do this, put your hands on a wall in front of you or on a chair. No problem. If you can't do it, find something that will allow you to do it, right? So if you're not at the place where this is accessible with the balance, don't worry about it, it's totally fine. Meet yourself where you are at. Circle, circle. Now when you make these circles, I really want you to pay attention that the leg does not turn out to do so. So your right toes, right knee, right hip should point forward the whole time. Okay, we're gonna do two more, and then I'm going to give a more advanced option. Take it or leave it. Last one. When you do that leg circle, your hands should really direct the pelvis. So you don't feel like the low back is arching. Okay, here we go. This is the deadlift option. Basically, you're just going further forward. So we lunge, then you're gonna come forward and lift that back leg higher into the band, Circle, reverse the circle, step it back and lunge. And you can do that with the support of a chair too. Come forward, tilt the hips down, circle, reverse the circle, step it back. Everyone good? So pick your favorite one and let's go for it. Lunge, I'm tilting the torso down as I lift the back leg up. Circle, circle, Step it back, one more wherever you're at. Lunge, shift forward, lift the abdomen, circle, circle, step it down. Oh my gosh, my left glute is on fire. Okay, let's do this to the right and I'll show you from the same side, just so you have a little bit different view. Big step back with the left leg, find the balance, and here we go. Hands to the low back, tuck the hips, we lunge. Shift forward just halfway. Back leg point straight forward. Circle counterclockwise. Circle clockwise. Step it back. Ooh, and we lunge. Falling into the couch a little bit, but that's okay. Okay, so squeezing up into the resistance band as we circle the leg. Good, and you know, one leg usually is stronger, one leg usually has better balance. So you might need the chair for one side and not for the other, and that's totally fine. Shift forward, circle, and circle. Big step back. Good, so this front foot is the same kind of foot that we did in our squats. We're trying to ground all parts of it and lift the arch of the foot. 
If you're having a problem with balance and you're using the chair, it's a good time, because you have the chair, to hold the chair, pause, look at the foot, and see where you may be leaning, what part of the foot is lifting, and work to get that part of the foot down. The more of the foot that's planted, the better balance you're gonna have. Like you've got more support. If you have less of your foot on the floor, it's gonna be harder to balance. Okay, we got two more, and we're gonna progress to that deadlift. Breathe in, take it down. Breathe out, press up, shift forward, circle, circle. Last one. We lunge, shift, circle, circle. Okay, maybe you come with me for four more. Either you deadlift or we stick with that last option. So I'm tilting further forward, lifting the back thigh up into the band, circling up, circling up, and taking a big step back. Breathe in, breathe out. I come forward, using my core straight, elongating my spine and the left leg, and I find those two circles. Good, we lunge, and press. Shift forward, stretch the spine and left leg apart. Circle, circle, oh my gosh, my hips are fired up. Last one, we got this. And if you don't, it's okay, we're doing our best. Hinge forward, circle, and circle. Oh my gosh, my glutes are like crazy. Okay, we're taking it back to the ground, guys. We're back to the mat, we're going to do same thing with the band and a mermaid exercise. So take the left shin, line it up with the front edge of the mat, and then the right knee comes back behind you. Now there's a good amount of tension in the band, and the band is going to want to pull you forward. I really want you to keep this right knee at least back in line with the hip. It's not gonna be easy, but we're gonna go for it. So come on over onto your left forearm, and this is like a side plank. It's not as hard as a side plank, I know, but we're staying lifted, so I don't, just because it's easy, don't hang out on it, lift it up. Now lift the right leg up, flex the foot, and what we're gonna do is turn the knee to the floor, and then the foot to the floor. But the knee is in line with the hip the whole time, so it's not coming forward. Knee down, knee up. Knee down, knee up. Your left thigh is pushing into the floor to anchor the band. You can also put the right hand on the floor in front of you if you need a little bit more stability. Now you're turning the leg in as much as possible, and then we're turning it out as much as possible. Turn in, turn out. You got it. Turn in, turn out. Squeeze in. Big press out, that's like your clamshell action. We've got five, and four, for three, and two, last one. Bring the leg parallel to hip height, bring the knee back. We're gonna circle the leg around and up, around and up. Good, really try to get the leg back and up. Don't go too far down. <laughs> Focus on the hard parts of the exercise. And now we're staying parallel. So my kneecap and my toes point to the wall below my body. or at the bottom of the mat. Squeeze up. Big squeeze. Make sure when you lift the right leg that it doesn't pull this left knee up. It's gonna make it easier. We're not here for that. We ain't about that life. <laughs> Big squeeze up. Okay, so we're near the end of the workout. We've got this on each side, and then a little fun thing to finish. So let's just focus. We're committed, we're making it through. Big squeeze up. We're burning out those hips. So we got seven, and then we reverse the circles. Six, five, Four, make sure your leg stays bent. Three, so we're moving from here, not the knee or the foot. Two, one, circle the other way around the world. Good, make sure we go back and up, more than down, and we don't let the knee travel too far forward. You know why I keep repeating myself? Because it happens. The body is literally created 
for survival. It wants to make things easier for us. So you have to keep telling it to stay in the hard place. So I'm reminding you to keep telling it that. Woo! Are we feeling something? I am shaking like crazy. If you have to take a break, you take a break, but you don't quit. You can take the band off and keep doing it, but don't leave the movement. We've got seven, six, five, four, woo, hips are stacked, three, two, hold it up, final one. We press back, we lift up, push back into the band, lift the thigh. Let's make it fast but controlled so nothing in the body swings around. Squeeze the glute as you press back, squeeze the outer hip as you press up. Press, lift, press, lift. You can put your hand on your butt. That's where you wanna squeeze into when you take that leg back, right into the glute. Make sure you're parallel. We got 10 right here, 10. Keep that thigh up, nine. Woo, eight, seven, six. I love when I find this super crazy burn. Five, four, three, finish them up. Two, last one. Oh my goodness, craziness. Okay guys, easy enough, roll it to the other side. And let's go for it. So right shin is down, knee in line with ankle. We're over on this left forearm, but we're lifted. And we're gonna bring that left leg, or right forearm, left leg up into your little hydrant shape. So anchor the band with the front leg, turn the left knee in, still in line with the hip, turn the heel down and the foot up. Turn in, turn out. So the turn in is the internal rotation. We're rolling the top of the thigh to the floor. The turn out is your clamshell. My hair is shedding. So you wanna feel the outer hip tighten. Turn in and out. Roll the thigh in, roll the thigh out into the band, you got it. And now as we move the leg, the upper body, the right leg, they're all frozen in space and they're not moving around. Good, you're halfway. Don't be sad, there's more to come. It's not over yet. Woo! Let's go for five. Turn in and out. Four. Okay, you know the series on this side, so we're coming into circles. In two. The last one, four, one. Knee comes to hip height and it's at the hip line. And then we're gonna circle up, back and around. Good, if you need to move a little forward so you've got space to make that circle. And remember, we are focusing on the up and back, not the down. We are parallel. So I wanna make sure your knee and your toes point to the bottom of the mat. If this is just totally not doable, take the band off or lay down all the way on your right ear. Okay, like I said earlier, adjust so that you can do the exercise. It should be hard and maybe a little uncomfortable because it's challenging, but it shouldn't be painful or undoable. So if it's at that point, then adjust for yourself and don't feel bad about it, yeah? The only way to get stronger is to find a way to do it and then progress from there. But to throw the towel in, it's not gonna help us. Good, you got five more for five. And four. Up and around for three. And two. We've got these on the reverse. Four, one. So reverse your circle. Recheck where that thigh is at. Maybe bring it a little further back and up and circle from there. Okay, when the leg goes back, you should feel your tush squeeze. When the leg lifts, you should feel that outer hip pull into the band. Okay, let's lift out of the ground and find our inner strength when it physically is getting tough, right? We're mentally tough, guys. If you're this far, you're freaking mentally tough. It is not easy, 
moving with really specific intention. It's a lot easier to do, you know, like some mindless cardio or something that you're not really focusing on the muscles. This is mentally fatiguing. I get it. But you'll be stronger for it in so many different ways. Okay, we got five more. And we've got those lovely press back lift up. We're here for four. And three. For two, get that thigh back and up. Last one. Okay, hold it up. Bring it back. We go one push back, one lift up. So they're little. Push, lift. Put your hand on your butt and squeeze it. It should be shaking like crazy. Okay, let's finish them up. Make sure your knee and your foot are level and it doesn't look something like that or that. Okay, push back and lift. Close your eyes and connect. Go inwards. Feel it. We got 20, 19, push back, lift, 18, 17, 16. Every time you squeeze, make it tighter. Try not to release too much. Finishing it up right here. Last 10, nine, bring it a little further back, bring it a little further up. The shaking is good. We got six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, something about that last one. Okay guys, grand finale, we're gonna do some frog press holds on our belly. Band stays where it's at, lay down, couple options for the upper body. You could be slightly propped up. You could rest all the way down and make a forearm pillow after you see what's happening. So knees are apart, heels are together. If you have a hard time putting your heels together, I want you to put like a slip of paper between your heels and actually squeeze. That's an active movement. So we don't want something like that happening. Push the heels together and keep them glued. Lengthen the low back like we did with the lunges. Now lift your legs up. Not so high that it creases the low back, okay? What we're gonna do is isometric glute squeezes. So the legs do not move, they're hovering, they're an inch off the floor, the knees are open, the heels are pressed together. You're gonna squeeze your butt and squeeze your butt. As you do this, I want you to squeeze your heels harder and harder. So as the heels press together, we initiate the glute squeeze. These two muscles are pinching together. Our sits bones are tightening and tightening. Now this is the challenge with Pilates. Sometimes it's not something you can see. So I know I'm demoing right now and I'm doing it. Maybe you can see a little fiery action in my glutes, but my legs are not moving. So it's a muscle connection I'm creating mentally. So close your eyes, squeeze your butt, squeeze your heels. Do not let your thighs rest. We're not here. They are up and active. Okay, squeeze. Squeeze. I am pushing my thighs out and pressing my heels in for dear life. You gotta work for it. Yeah, are we up for it? Let's do it. Squeeze, squeeze. We got 10, nine, eight. Lift the thighs, push the knees. Seven, six, five, four. Thighs are up, three. Two, hold the squeeze of everything. Now pulse the thighs up and squeeze your butt at the same time. So now we have added movement. It should be super, super small and sharp. Lift it up. Maybe you rest your head. I want you completely inwards right now. Squeeze the heels, thighs out, squeeze your butt. Lift it up. We're gonna do 30. This is our finisher. Focus as hard as you can. 25, up and up. It's all you. Finish for yourself. Woo, 20. Squeeze, lift. How tight are those heels? Can you press them a little tighter? Can you open those knees up a little bit more? 15. <sighs> Breathing through it, let's finish. We got 10, nine, open the knees. Eight, squeeze the glutes. Seven, six, are almost there. Get those thighs higher, five. Four, three, two, one. Oh my goodness. My legs are done. How are your legs? <gasps> Woo, and that is how you break a sweat, get your heart rate up while moving slowly. It's the real deal. Okay, we're taking a little stretch. So 
So lay on your back, get comfortable, and let's stretch out the muscles we just murdered. So left toes into your band. You can also hold the back of the leg if you want. And straighten the leg fully. If the leg is straight, then bring it towards you. Open up the back of the knee. Okay, if it's really tight, it's fine to have the knee bent, wherever you feel a stretch. Good, drop your hips into the mat, find neutral. Let's take that neck for a little roll, right and left. Good, and then come to center, and let's switch legs. Loop the left, right foot into the band. Oh my gosh, stretch it up. Straighten the leg, and then you can pull it in. This one, I can definitely not pull in, it's way tighter. Woo! That moment when you look at your feet and you know it's time to get a pedicure. <laughs> Maybe that leg comes in a little if it's loosened up, or you can bend the knee if it's really tight. And let's just let, rock that head right and left. Shake it out. You just crushed that. I was so in the zone, I don't even know how long we just went. <laughs> I think maybe like 40, 45 minutes. Good, drop the hips, find that natural curve. Good, and then release. Okay, so let's get the inner thighs and the quads. I'm gonna flip over onto your belly. I'm gonna make a 90 degree bend, we've done a lot of this, with the left leg. So your left toes and knee face the side wall. If this is really tight in your inner thigh, the leg will go lower. If it's accessible, the leg comes further in. Put your hands underneath your shoulders, hips face the floor. We're gonna inhale, roll up, tuck the pelvis, exhale, roll down. Two more. Inhale, roll up, exhale, roll down. One more. Inhale, roll up, exhale, roll down. Left form is gonna support you on the mat. Bring the right heel in and grab the right foot with the right hand. If you're more flexible, you can lay it all the way down. Push the front of your hips into the mat. So there's no lift of your butt. The butt is pushing towards the ground. Reach your right knee towards the bottom of the mat like it's being pulled out of the body. Good, and then release. Okay, so we're gonna switch it up. So take the right leg, turn it out into that 90 degree bend. If it's tight, bring it a little lower. If it's not, knee in line with hip. Left leg is straight back behind us. Let's take those rolling cobras. So push your hips towards the floor as we roll up and roll it down. Two more. Inhale, roll it up. Exhale, roll it down. Last one. Big breath in. And we're gonna come down onto that right forearm. Left heel bends in. Make sure your left knee is pointing to the floor, not turning out. Grab the outside of the left foot with the left hand. And maybe we lower towards the mat. Push your hips towards the ground. Reach the left knee to the back of the room. Good, and then release. Okay, you know the last one we must do is outer hips. So come to take a seat. Plant the right foot down. Cross the left ankle over, hands are behind you. Lift the spine up tall. If this is light, easy stretch, move your hips and your heels together and come up higher. Drop your tush, lift your chest. Okay, like we've been doing with the band the whole class, press the left knee open. Move it away from the body so it's not here. It might be there if you're pressing it open and you're tight, but if you're looser, press it open, it should move away from the body. Okay. Other side, move the hips back, plant the left foot, right ankle over, we're tall. If we want more, move your hips towards that heel, butt down, and externally rotate the right leg. Woo! How successful do you feel? Pretty good. Okay, take a big breath in, and let it Go! You guys did an amazing job. Thanks for joining me for our hot girl bummer workout. Let me know how you feel tomorrow. And I just hope that you feel awesome, successful, and carry out this energy through the rest of the, your day and your week. Just feeling really good about ourselves for, for putting the effort in to take care of ourselves because it is effort. 
Please subscribe to my channel, Pilates on Demand, and I'll see you on the next workout. Bye, guys.